Come on, work with me here. Oh God, that's not good. That is not good at all. How's it going, everybody? Dregast here, and welcome back to some more of the best Besiege creations. So we got another fun-filled week with a bunch of interesting weapons, this one being probably one of the most interesting. This is called the Hurricane Tank. And for good reason, this thing is pretty much a hurricane. Now, its only source of weaponry is wind, but a lot of it, as you can see. <laughs> I'm just wondering what just went through this guy's head. He just saw like 14 of his friends get exploded and he's the only lucky one alive. Well, you know what, you freaking bastard? I'm gonna come for you. There you go. And oh, <laughs> oh, okay, this guy's gonna dodge in this thing. Oh, don't, don't get too close to it. Don't get too close to it. This is not a smart idea, my friend. Not a smart, okay, maybe it is a smart idea. I can't hit you. There we go. <laughs> and off the map he goes. He's still alive though, which is weird. So this thing just pushes back. Uh, the creations. I actually don't even know where I am right now. Okay, now I'm just curious. Do I have enough wind power to blow this sword out of the ground? I gotta assume this thing is so modded, it's gotta work. Let's find out, though. Oh, oh my god. That hit the wall so damn quick. Okay, well, the, clearly that works quite well. The only problem is I this is at the edge of the map now. I gotta go all the way over here to get it. I wonder if I can shoot it from here. Oh my god, I am hitting it! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Can it knock down things in the air? I don't know, let's find out. Uh, yep, yep, gonna say that definitely worked. I just knocked out three of them. All right, this final one. All right, let's actually go to it. And here we go. This is horrifying. Like, look how far away I am, and I'm still doing so much damage to everything. Come on, I, I don't know if we can get high enough for this one. There we go! <laughs> That's what I needed. I think I actually utilized that rock to add some wind up higher. So the design of this is actually pretty damn simple, aside from it being drastically modded. We got two water cannons on the end here, and then two fire cannons hitting those in the back, making steam immediately. And then obviously it has been modded like crazy to uh, make the projectiles go as fast as they do. So yeah, the most dangerous steam cannon I've seen in a while. Let's actually see it take out a castle, why don't we? Okay, everyone's favorite map, the Duke's Plea. Let's watch this thing get <laughs> absolutely demolished. My God, does this thing have some firepower in it. And there goes the rest of it as well. I gotta say, if I'm going to war, I wanna go to war in one of these. I would be unstoppable. All right, Yak, you are the final survivor, I think. I don't see really anyone else. So, goodbye. <laughs> oh my God, I broke the rock as well. And next up, we got this super sleek looking buggy. Now, this isn't just any normal buggy, though. I wouldn't just show a basic buggy. This one's got a little bit of a secret. It's also a flyer and one of the quickest transformers, if not the quickest transformer in this game. Let's see if we can... Oh, that's not a very good landing. Okay, let's try this again here and see if I can actually do this. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. A nice even landing in a crash. <laughs> okay, I'm not very good at flying this, guys. God damn it, sheep, you just had to ruin my day a little more, didn't you? You had to burn it. But what's so cool about this transformation is even on the ground, it does a little bit of a hop so you can kind of get it flying even from a flat ground. So let's see if we can fly up here if I try right. Oh, yeah, there we go. Right over it and back down. Don't crash. Yeah, there we go. Perfect landing. So yeah, this is easily one of the most useful transformers in this game. I mean, it just works remarkably well. And even like with that landing, I don't think I'm on invincibility mode, no. So it's very stable as well for the landings. Now I wonder if I can run over these guys. That would just make my day. It is quite easily controlled in the air. So there we go, we knocked one off at least. I honestly don't know how it keeps flying. I'm not, I'm not pressing any buttons right now. And it just keeps going and going and going. It's, it's almost like it has its own engine. You can see I'm clearly off the map right now. I'm not pressing anything. I'm just trying to stabilize it with uh, the gyroscopic st stabilization. So yeah, just to show you guys how good this thing is at flying, I'm not gonna move at all. I'm just gonna transform and then go. It, it just... For, for whatever reason, it almost it's almost like it has an engine of its own, but it's like a very efficient glider or something. Uh, works remarkably well. So yeah, I gotta say, this is one of the coolest Transformers in this game. It's actually a useful one that you could use in a lot of different levels. So yeah, I really like this design. And we got another very similar Transformer design as compared to the last one. We got a buggy here that actually has a little bit of weapon power on it, as you can see. There we go. 
It's also got a flamethrower on the bottom if you do want to get rid of some people. And it's also got spinners, as you can see, the first vehicle in Besiege to have some spinners. That's badass. But what's even more badass about this design is its transformation. Let's just actually, I'm going to go in slow-mo just to appreciate how this thing transforms. So there we go. And bam, we have a quadcopter design here. The cannons actually go to the bottom. And that's what I so appreciate so much about this. Because obviously, if you're using a quadcopter, you're going to want your cannons at the bottom of the creation. Okay, let's try and stabilize this thing if we can. Oh, man. <laughs> Come on. Work with me here. Oh, God, that's not good. That is not good at all. Oh, my God. Oh, man. I somehow managed to screw up every one of my flying designs. Anyways, we're kind of in the air now. It's a little finicky to drive, but honestly, for a transforming creation, very impressive. Let's see if we can... Somehow aim this up and... Oh, 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 coming in! Ah, oh, shit, I missed. And if you are curious, you can also transform back into the buggy very, very quickly as well. I just, I, the biggest thing I like about this is its transformation. It is seriously beautiful. So one of the biggest complaints I get on these Besiege videos is I don't show enough aerial vehicles. And that's just honestly because I'm freaking awful at them. But this one is really cool, so I wanted to show you guys it. It is the J7W1 Shinden. No, this is not a backwards plane. This is, in fact, a rear-propelled plane. It's one of the coolest-looking planes I've seen. Now, I haven't flown this yet, so I'm curious to see how good it is at flying. We're going to find out together, though. Honestly, it's working pretty good. Let's retract that landing gear. There we go, and we are good to go. So a little slower than I expected, but honestly, aside from that, very easy to control. Very nice. Let's see if I can hit the statue here. Oh, we're coming right in for it. Bam! Tuck it out! I think I also lost a bit of my plane, as you can see, that thing floating down. Yeah, that's part of my wing, no big deal, we're still good. Oh man, this is when I wish I had bombs, I can actually control this thing very well. It's slow enough to actually make it controllable. Okay, let's see if I can see if I can hit the windmill here. Yeah, taking everything out with a plane! Oh god, I'm, I'm losing pieces of my plane, there goes another <laughs> piece! I, as you can see, like a trail behind me of pieces are falling off of this, but I can still control it, so we're still going. All right, peasant village, I'm gonna try and come in for you. Oh god, this is gonna be rough. This is gonna be real rough. Oh god! <laughs> I missed him. Let me try again here. Okay, coming right in. Bam! Took out the houses, yes! And oh god damn it, we're on fire! <laughs> well, that's one way to go. And squished. Oh my god, I couldn't ask for a better crash than that. Okay, well, the J7W1 Shinden went way better than I expected. The only thing I would like more on this is some bombs to do some bomb drops, because it's very easy to control. Okay, and next up we got this very awesome, I guess it would be an octocopter crane. Now, what I like so much about this thing is how stable it is. Look at it. Like, I, I can move it, and it stays right exactly where I put it. If I don't press anything, I'm not pressing anything right now, it is totally stabilized. Now, let's see. Okay, so that's the front of it, so we want to turn it this way. I'm going to try and pick up their castle if I can. But before we do that, we do have some bombs on here, so I'm going to get the attention of the knights. Hey, knights, how's it going? There you go. Come on over. Those two smart... Th these two guys over here, they're pretty damn smart, because you know what's going to happen to your friends? That. Oh, shit. Okay, I, I blew up my fucking thing, too. See, you guys are even smarter than me. I even broke my design. <laughs> Anyways, lesson learned. Don't drop bombs when you're this slow. Let's go a bit higher, and there you guys go. Enjoy those bombs. Have fun with them, and let's try and pick this thing up. Now, it is hollow at the top, so I gotta kind of pick up a wall. Okay, but let's lower this thing down. There we go. It's actually got four ropes as well, so it's extremely stable, and it's not picking it up. God damn it. Besiege, when are you gonna fix this? If you don't know, when you download things in the Steam community, uh, the actual grabbers reset. So, I will keep this in this video. If you ever have an issue with this, just highlight the grabber and click grab static. You want to grab static objects as well. Uh, what the hell? Oh! <laughs> okay. Now that I put grab static on, it's actually grabbing the ground. Thankfully, we can let it go. Let's try and let it go. There we go. Uh, at least we know it's working now. Okay, and we're above right where I gotta be, so we're gonna start dropping this thing. Let's actually go down and watch it. There we go. I have grabbed it. Now, the big question is... I, I, I can't pull it up. I can't. Hold on. Let, let, let me try and get, give it some juice here. And come on. Nope. It's, it, I'm not gonna be able to li lift it off, unfortunately. You win today, castle. Let's try the uh, statue here. I, I'm assuming the newer castles might be able to be pulled off, though. 
Okay, lowering down the grapple, and there is the man's head. Oh, shit, I'm a little to the... I don't even know which way I'm going. Okay, this is the right way. There we go. Yep, yep, yep. Nope, nope. Back, back, back. <laughs> I should probably watch where I'm driving. Oh, oh, well, I got it. I I've, I stole his bow. I, I want to get his head, though. Hold on here. Okay, this is not good. I broke two of my ropes uh, holding on to this thing, and I'm just... Let me grab something. Oh, my God, I'm so close to it. Why is it not grabbing it? Oh, oh God damn it. I knocked it over. I'm not very good with this crane, God damn it. Okay, and trying to grab the peasant's house just for the fun of it. There we go. And I can't... Okay, the problem is I don't have enough pull, I don't think, so I can't pull it off. Nope, well, I broke it. Oh, shit. Jesus Christ. Okay, will this work at the Duke's plea? Let's find out. I have a sneaky suspicion this might actually work. Because this castle breaks a hell of a lot easier than the other ones, so... There, oh, it actually already broken. Okay, let's just drop that, and let's try and go down further. I want, I want to get some of the stone. There we go. Now, can I pull it up? No, I can't. I can't break anything with this. Come on. Nope, it's just coming down. Well, let's see what kind of damage it can do to it. Why don't we? There we go. Oh, okay. Well, that's one way to demolish it. Okay, well, today I learned I'm a very bad crane operator. Just add something else to the list that I'm bad at, why don't we? But I did pick up the flag, as you can see, and I'm holding it in there. That's majestic. And this scary contraption is called Doom. Now, if we don't put on infinite ammo mode, you'll actually realize there's only one cannon in here with a lot of flamethrowers going around it. Now, if we do put on infinite ammo mode, let's actually just reset this really quickly and turn on infinite ammo, this turns into basically a machine gun. So first of all, we do want to grip it to the ground or it will just fly away from all the recoil and turn on that flamethrower. And there we go. It's a little bit more than actually a machine gun. It's just more, you know, let's throw out as many balls as we can. And I'm just really curious. How many balls can this game take now? With all the upgrades of Unity, I gotta assume, well, it is getting pretty laggy pretty quickly here. Okay, we're gonna slow it down a bit. Oh, it actually stopped. Why? Why'd you stop? Did it seriously? It's infinite. Wait, did I lose my cannon? Oh, shit. Something broke on this. You can see. I think I lost my cannon. It flew out of it. And if, and if you're curious what happens when you don't stick it to the ground, well, that pretty much <laughs> happens from the recoil. That's actually oddly beautiful. Let's just do it like that, shall we? And I pretty much demolished the actual castle. You know what? I can probably actually make it go a little higher here. Oh, oh, there we go. Come on. I'm trying to control this as we go here. <laughs> oh my god. This is just beautiful. I love how these guys are still alive after all of this. I mean, look at all the balls around, and they're still totally okay. All right, let's actually go to real time here. Oh, the lag is real. You know what? We, we can't handle real time right now. It still does really good when I slow it down, though. Let's see how far we can go. Let's just take a minute to appreciate the amount of balls on this map. I mean, <laughs> there's just a pile of balls over here. I'm seriously wondering if the balls are starting to disappear because I'm still getting a pretty stable FPS here. Let's uh, zoom out here and yeah, there is a lot of balls on this map. A lot of you have requested me to do this to see how many balls my PC can handle or this game can handle rather. So we're just going to find out. I'm just going to keep going here and see if I can in fact crash the system. Okay, it's getting to the point where it's actually almost unplayable. For whatever reason, my camera is extremely wonky right now. Uh, if I look down, it works a hell of a lot better, so maybe I should do that. I think when I'm looking at all the balls, it just lags out my whole system. I mean, look at the ground. There's more cannonballs than there is ground right now. But still, we're at about 26 FPS right now, which isn't that bad at all. And I've got to assume these balls are starting to slowly vanish. There's got to be a limit to how many balls you can have on a map. To be fair, though, that this is more than enough cannonballs. I don't think you need this many. Oh! I sped it up for a second, and I actually broke the creation by doing that. So we broke the creation before we broke the damn game. Let's just take a minute to appreciate all the balls. Everyone loves balls. But yeah, guys, we're going to end this episode of the best Besiege creations here. I still have not been able to crash Besiege since the uh, Unity update. And as you can see, I think it will be pretty difficult to actually try and do it. As always, guys, I just want to personally thank you for your continued support. I hope you guys are still enjoying the best Besieged creations. Thanks for watching and liking, and I will see you in the next one.